Hey guys and welcome! We just got some news today from the official Battlefield Twitter account about the update that was announced for early March and the return of the weekly missions. But let's start with the update. This was planned for early March, so either this week or next week and yesterday the developers said they will let us know if the update is coming on Thursday or not. Today was confirmed that there will be no update this week, but next week instead. And also, the weekly missions that have been removed from the game last Friday because of the reward that haven't really had the best timing will not return this week. On Friday, DICE said that the weekly missions will return this week with a new reward, but now they said that the missions will also be suspended for another week and will return next Thursday alongside the update. Once this has arrived, we will see a new scoreboard in the game with a more classic layout where you can clearly see kills, deaths, assists and other stats of all players. And unlike a first sketch they showed us a few weeks ago, the scoreboard will not only show a complete overview of all players in one table, but will be split up into one table per team. So just like the scoreboards we know from former titles. In addition, all owners of the Gold and Ultimate Edition or Year 1 Pass and Upgrade Editions as well as subscribers of EA Play Pro will receive the Steadfast exclusive Legendary Bundle once the update was released. It will add a new skin for Mackie, different vehicle and weapon skins, a new player card and a new tag to the game. Which is kind of an excuse for the delay of Season 1. There will also be some small fixes and improvements made to the game, but these will be detailed in the patch notes next week. So if you want to stay tuned for this and more updates on Battlefield, be sure to hit that subscribe button now. And since there will be no weekly mission video this week, where I usually sum up all the new rewards you can claim for 2042, just a short info on the monthly EA Play subscriber reward. If you are a member of EA Play Basic or Pro, no matter if console or PC, you can now find the Clicking Heads weapon charm in your collection. It might not show up as notification when you start the game, so just take a look into the weapon charms and it should be there. And that's it for today. Just a short overview of the news we got and if anything should change, I will of course keep you updated. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.